so now we'll talk about loop building. So one way to do a looping is basically you take the part that has a gap or alignment to it or insertion, and then you delete a few residues extra, and then you try to build a loop independent of the rest of the program, well, independently from the things you put in there. And this can be done by database searching. So if you have nine residues, you search nine residue fragments in your database. You try, try to find all confirmations that are either a similar sequence, but at least that match the beginning and the end in the three-dimensional space. So you might end up with something that, like this. And then you will end up with check, does this collide? Does it fit well to the rest of the protein? And the alternative way is basically start with some fragment base, so just you start with some short parts and you put, try to add them together until you find at the end come up with something that match together. And basically the database loops, loop search breaks down somewhere at nine residues. Because then basically if you have longer loops, you cannot uh, find a matching hit in the database unless you have a sequence module that's higher. So that's somewhere you see a jump here, nine, ten, you jump from two to three on so basically start having too much error. So then you will need to use some, some fragments, some uh, search method. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you, you want to well, skip this. Um, and of course, if you want to do it manually, you should try to keep as much. Basically, the rule is to keep as much as possible information you can. So if you want to build side chains, you want to keep the route of the same or if it's similar. Otherwise, you keep as much as possible. And you substitute the other part for the route of mesh, which you can do. Uh, 